Today was day five of Sarah Boone's trial. Today for me had a very defining moment. If I was the juror not having seen things before previously about Sarah Boone and sitting there not knowing any of the video or audios that were being played for the first time, there was one today that I think would probably solidify for every juror, whatever their answer is going to be, would solidify a guilty verdict. But before I get into that, I am first going to quickly recap today. If you didn't have time to watch it, you did not miss out on a lot of things. About 80% of the time is going to be what I'm going to show you in this clip. And this clip's about a minute long. So at the time of this deposition, when I asked her specifically... So what's the legal objection? What are the legal grounds of the objection? I would not take that deposition, Judge. When she said, I have not had time sufficiently to answer these questions, these diagnoses, these opinions, if this wasn't set for a definitive date that you had already told me it's not going to be continued, I would not, I would refuse to take that deposition. Mm -hmm. But under the promises from the state, what are, the legal, what are the changes. legal grounds of your objection? I'm familiar with the background. I'm familiar with the time frame. I'm familiar with all the dates and the depots and the coordination and everything we had to do to get this all teed up before trial. What are the legal grounds of your objection? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if there's a legal ground other than we had an agreement as attorneys, as parties, that I would be notified of a change of opinion and I would be allowed to take a second deposition. That's the only thing I know to object to. Okay. Because I was not given that opportunity, which was an agreement between the parties. Response. Judge, I don't appreciate the implications that they're making. So yeah, that happened on repeat. That was probably said, you know, easily 20 times. There was so much back and forth. James Owen upset everybody. The state attorneys were, the state prosecutors were offended. The judge later had ran out of patience for James Owen. Like, it, it was just a disaster. So, yeah, that lasted for hours. They kept having to kick the jury out or do sidebar. And so much of today felt like it was wasted in some aspects because of it. Owen seems to try to make objections based on how he felt or how Sarah felt. And... The judge having to ask him on repeat, you know, what's the legal standing? And he doesn't have anything. And he did that during pretrial, and it drove me crazy. And I even said it on the video for that one. But today was just ridiculous. I mean, he's a lawyer. He knows the rules. He knows he has to have legal ground to do objections. I don't understand why he fought everything so hard when he knew what the legalities of it were. So that annoyingness set aside, today the state prosecutors had videos played as evidence and it's ones that some of us have not seen. And some of them were really heartbreaking. I'm gonna play the first clip and that is the one that would have changed my mind if I was leaning one way as a juror or would have solidified if I was thinking guilty. <laughs> Well, let me just get down to the bottom of it, okay? <laughs> that, that video, video broke, broke my, my heart. heart. I, I actually, actually got, got a little bit emotional, emotional with, with that. that. And, and then, then soon, soon after, after watch, watch this, this next, next clip, clip that they, they play. play. So you remember this. So you remember this. Are you drunk right now? No, How much alcohol did you drink? Uh, enough to be no. You're slurring your words. You're sleeping up against the door right now. Yeah, because I want to be next to you. Did I not tell you to not bother me? Yes, ma'am. So what is it you come up and do? 
So it took me a little bit of time, but I realized that when she first got her cell phone and was talking to him, trying to get him away, move him, he was laying down in their upstairs hallway. He wasn't in the bedroom. And no, I guess he wasn't completely laying down. He was leaning on a wall, but he was upstairs in the hall trying to sleep, not bothering her. And she was the one that went out there to him woke him up and then the long video happens it's just really sad and i think that she was trying to document some of these things as like gotta show other people and have proof that he's bad but so many of the videos were just her being horrible treating him really badly and i really think that her own videos from then and the videos of that night that she took of him in the suitcase really seal her fate. Tomorrow, they're going to have closing arguments. We know that the prosecutors and the defense are showing up at 8.30. They kind of get a head start on the jury instructions. The judge thinks it's going to be a couple hours long to put together. So they're trying to get a head start before the jury gets there. So the jury's not arriving just to be kicked out of the courtroom the whole time. I will say with the one witness that was going over Sarah's mental state today, she was very annoyed at Owens as well. And she herself on the chair said that Brian Boone had claimed that she gets physically violent when she drinks. And I wish the camera would have panned right over to the prosecutors because they probably were cheering and smiling. I mean... They didn't do that when Brian Boone was on the stand. I don't know why. And then a lot of people thought, oh no, the defense is going to call Brian. They didn't. So there was no other way, or at least I thought, that they were going to be able to get that information out there to the jurors. But no, the lady who was very frustrated with Owens did it. So I guess that at least ties it up. I did think the jury should know that. I think that's super important for her character, for other people to make comments like that. They need to know because they need to make an educated decision. All right, with all of that, I'm also going to say that I do have enough information from several people about different jury reactions, things that have been going on that... You know, the cameras can't see, so we can't see. So I will be doing a video on that probably this weekend. Um, that might get moved around if they do closing arguments tomorrow. And if there's a late verdict, then I might have to wiggle it around. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow night after they would do a verdict. I'd be surprised if they do a late night verdict same day. There's been a couple trials of women accused of killing their husbands. And one of them was a late verdict. It, like, they deliberated for two hours and came back that night. So it's possible. We don't know. So I'll keep you updated with that. And I will be back tomorrow to say what I think of the final day, day six. Mm -hmm.